Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're here with another map review. This time we're taking a look at Glenwood Farms by Big H Mapping. And we're going to be doing a little bit of a uh, early access look at this map. I believe it's scheduled to come out in the next couple of weeks. And so I'm excited to get to take a quick early look at this map. So I'm going to start off by popping up the PDA here and just kind of highlighting some of the main features of this map. It is a standard size map, uh, and there are three farms set up on this map. And so if you look down here in the lower left-hand corner, you're going to see that there's uh, Glenwood Farm, Babson Farm, and Jacqueline Hall Farm um, marked as A, B, and C on the map here. And uh, one of the cool things about this map is that it is based on a real-world area and a set of real-world farms that the uh, map author grew up farming on. And so uh, for me, it's always really exciting to see real-world farms brought to life in a farming simulator. The real-world area this map is based on is just north of Charlottesville, Virginia, and it does use a DEM to attempt to accurately capture the terrain. And so... Uh, as we kind of take a look, just uh, stepping away from the farm a few feet here, you can see that there's a nice rolling hills uh, throughout this field. And so this is going to be one of those maps that uh, is going to be really interesting to farm on. A lot of uh, naturally shaped fields that kind of contour to the terrain. Uh, and so I love maps like this where um, things just feel really natural. Uh, and if we come into the... Um, land purchase screen. I did purchase a couple fields. I'm in farm manager mode here I'm just taking a look at things. So I went ahead and bought uh, farm a in this field just to test some things uh, But you can see we've got a large range of different field sizes available here um, I mean if we look at you know, even this field 14 right up by the farm here This is a 20 acre field, but you've also got much larger fields like uh, field 17 here, which is 111 acres and so you're gonna be able to uh, really kind of pick the style of play that you wanna do on uh, this map. Uh, between some of these big fields, you could run some medium or larger equipment on them, uh, or with all these smaller fields, it's really gonna be uh, set up really well to run some smaller or older medium-sized uh, style equipment. And so let's take a quick look at uh, the three farms. And then we'll also take a look at um, the cell point and the animal dealer down here and do a quick fly through around the map. So starting off here at our first farm, this is uh, Glenwood Farm. We've got our farmhouse here and a handful of sheds. There's a fair amount of starting equipment in these sheds. And so if we just open up uh, these shed doors, and I do like that the doors open up individually, uh, you can see we've got uh, some decent starting equipment, a uh, planter, some hay equipment back there, some of our harvesting equipment. We've got a sprayer out here over the, under this uh, lean-to. If we just open up this other shed, you know, we've got a, uh, another tractor, baler, you know, mower, mowing equipment. Um, so we've got a fair amount of storage here. Um, these are some pretty nice sheds. Uh, you've got a little bit of decorative items in them here. So, you know, they feel used um, and worked in, but not uh, not necessarily too busy. So I really kind of like how uh, these sheds are set up here on this farm. And then uh, back here, you can see I actually got the tractor out and uh, was testing out just to make sure. We, we do have a multi-terrain angle here on this map. And so... Uh, we're going to be able to enjoy those benefits anytime a map, especially uh, one with as curvy fields as uh, this one has. Um, for me to want to play on a map, it's almost a necessity to have multi-terrain angle at this point. So uh, I'm super excited to see that most mappers are adding that by default at this point. And then over here, you can see we've got a cattle set up here uh, with some water troughs. Um, I believe we're going to be able to... Uh, feed our cows, uh, put the bedding down and, and such in here. You've got your uh, slurry pit here in the back. Um, I want to say that this is a cattle setup. Um, I don't believe that there's a milking point in this particular farm. And so I think that wraps up this first farm here. 
So jumping over here to uh, the second farm, farm B on the map, this would be the Bapson farm. You can see we've got, uh, again, a house. We've got a garage here. I believe this is a functional garage. So you can park, uh, you know, your cars or some smaller equipment in here. And then if we just come back here behind the house, you can see we've got a grain bin set up here. Um, this is actually a functioning grain bin. So you'll be able to use uh, an auger to put uh, grain up in the top and get it out of the bottom. Uh, we've got several other uh, sheds here, um, this open style shed here that you're going to be able to store some equipment in, and then this much longer uh, style shed here. Uh, this is a really long shed, uh, but you're going to be able to put some equipment in there, and uh, you can see here we've got a bunch of bales sitting out here. Now, I believe I read in the comments that there is a uh, snow masks set up in uh, some areas of this map so that you're able to leave bales uh, sitting out um, to represent kind of how they do that in real life. I'm not sure uh, this might be that area. Um, I can't actually recall exactly, but uh, that's something that the map author was talking about. In the back of the farm here, we have a small cow pasture. And so you're gonna be able to buy your cows right here. Uh, and have them wander out in this pasture. You've got a, a water area and a feed uh, trough here. So um, that's kind of cool to just have kind of an outdoor area, not always uh, having the cows in a set of barns necessarily. And there's just a lot of big pasture areas around this farm. So this is yet another uh, good cattle farm operation. And then if we just head down here and take a look at the third farm, Farm C, uh, this would be the Jekyllin Hall farm. Uh, you can see we've got a harvest store silo here. This is actually a functioning uh, harvest store. So you're gonna be able to use this to store the appropriate materials for your cows. And then over here on this farm, we also have two additional grain bins set up. These are functioning grain bins. So you will need to use an auger to get your crops in and out of uh, these grain bins. Then we've got a small house here, as well as a much older kind of rundown uh, barn here in the back. And then lastly, if we hop down here into the lower right hand corner, we're going to be able to see our cell point here. Um, there, This is the only cell point on the map, um, and this is where you're going to be able to sell your grain. And then inside here, you're going to be able to uh, bulk buy your... Uh, solid fertilizer and possibly seed, I think. And then across the road here, we've got what I think is going to be both the uh, shop as well as the animal dealer. Uh, so this is where I expect your equipment and stuff is going to show up when you buy it. And you'll also be able to back up right in here and pick up your animals as needed. So if we take uh, one last look at the PDA, I think that covers all the major features on the map. So lastly, I think we'll just do a little bit of a fly around uh, and take a look at uh, these fields and just kind of fly up and around the map. Um, as I said before, this is a sneak peek at a map that's coming out in a few weeks. I'll have the link in the description to Large H Mapping's Facebook page. Uh, where you can follow along for updates. I really appreciate uh, him giving me the opportunity to take an early look at this map. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm just excited to see more real-world locations coming alive in Farming Simulator. Jump into the car on a Friday night I want to drive with you Looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue We don't ever play it in the night is young It doesn't matter what to be yours